Welcome to episode four of the Sporty's Advanced Pilot Skill Series. I'm Spencer Suderman, airshow pilot, flight instructor, and Guinness World Record holder for most inverted flat spins. In this episode, we're gonna get comfortable not flying straight and level by drawing shapes in the sky. Now let's head out in a Cessna 172 and fly over the beach in St. Augustine, Florida. Something fun I like to do when I want to just come out and fly around, don't really want to go anywhere and aren't particularly hungry for an overpriced hamburger, is I call shapes in the sky. I'm going to use the nose to make different geometric shapes. And the rule is you have to keep the wings level when you do it. So first let's do a warm up exercise. I call this the nose yaw, where I'm simply going to yaw the nose back and forth just with the rudder pedals. And notice I'm turning the yoke, putting the ailerons in the opposite direction. Essentially, I'm slipping the airplane. So this gets my feet and hands warmed up, yawing the nose back and forth, keeping the wings level. Now I'm gonna do something called a Dutch roll. I'm gonna roll the nose back and forth, keeping the nose on point. And it takes a bit of coordination with the rudder and aileron, but it's good practice to learn how to correctly use the rudder to counteract adverse yaw. So I roll, come in with the in-roll rudder, catch it, roll back the other way. I'm on left rudder, right rudder as I roll the other way. Notice the nose is staying on point as I do this. Just rolling back and forth, having some fun with it. Now, don't do this too much because some people, this really upsets their stomach. And now the shape's in the sky. So let's start with something simple like a square. Remember, the wings have to stay level. So nose comes up, hold it there. Nose yaws right. Notice I'm putting in rudder and aileron in the opposite direction, slipping. Now I lower the nose, third side of the square. Now I yaw the nose to the left, and keeping the wings level, I need right aileron, and I finish the maneuver. And I come back to my starting point. So that was the square, shapes in the sky. Let's do the triangle, this is a little more fun. You gotta bring the nose up to a point, bring it back down, finish off the triangle. So as I bring the nose up, I have to use quite a bit of rudder to get the nose up to that point in the sky. And notice I'm using left aileron. Now as I push it down, I need a lot of right rudder to keep those wings level. And I yaw the nose left back to my starting point, which now requires right aileron to keep the wings level. And I finish the maneuver. So that was the triangle. The hardest one to do is next, the circle. We're going to do a complete circle. Remember, wings have to stay level the whole time. And remember, you have to finish the circle below. You have to remember where your altitude is. You're going to have to complete and back up to where you started. OK, so we're really starting on the left side of the circle, kind of in the lower piece of it there. All right, so nose comes up. And as it comes up, I need right rudder. I need left aileron. Now I'm going over the top of the circle. Now I'm pushing the nose down. I'm bringing the nose in. Now I'm going below where I started, and I have to finish the circle. I notice the wings stayed level the whole time. A great way to have a lot of fun. You'll feel a little bit of, little bit of G, not much, no more than in a steep turn. Then you can start making up all kinds of fun shapes, like a pentagram or a dodecahedron, which I think that's a shape with 13 sides, but you get the idea. We don't need to keep going. Shapes in the sky, always a fun exercise. Are you ready to continue your aviation journey and further expand your flight skills? Check out one of Sporty's exciting aviation courses, which includes everything from private pilot training, how to fly tailwheel airplanes, and aerobatic training with Patty Wagstaff. Visit sporties.com forward slash discover for more information.